The very first step to go to pimp from being a simp is accepting the fact that you're a simp in the first place. Because yes, you are still a simp. You just haven't admitted it to yourself yet. You haven't admitted it to yourself yet because you don't want to classify yourself as the guy that would be simping over these women. Oh, you see it on Instagram all the time. You laugh at them. Ha ha ha. But you are the exact same way. And every time you do simp, you want to sit here and make excuses for yourself. But the truth is, you are still just as bad as these other guys that you see getting exposed on Instagram for giving their women chances after they cheat on them. Right. For staying with a girl that they know for a fact is for the streets. You are the exact same way. You are absolutely no different from these other guys, bro. That is just the cold, hard truth, the facts, bro. So now, once you've actually admitted it, which actually takes some ball, like, honestly, admitting that you were a simp is, is a very difficult step to take. But once you can actually do that, you can actually start to make progress. Because the thing is, bro, you can't be a simp forever, bro. You can't be submitting to these women forever, bro. You can't be letting these women play you forever because the truth is, bro, the dating market is ruthless. The sexual marketplace is extremely ruthless. And as you get older, bro, you got to understand that if you don't change your ways, you might just end up dying alone, bro, because these chicks, let me tell you something right now. Even if they do lower their standards to get with a simp like you, you're going to end up getting cheated on. And who wants to get cheated on when they're getting older and all of this stuff? Because the older you get, the less time you got, bruh. So you're going to be just wasting your time if you don't learn these skills on how to go from simp to play a pimp. You know what I'm saying? So in this video, I'm going to be giving you all the sauce on how to make this transformation, how to make this change, man. All right. Now, number one, the first thing that you need to start doing is stop revolving your life around women. This is the problem. So many of y'all revolve your entire life around women. You go to school and all you think about is girls. You go to work, all you think about is girls. How can I get this girl? How can I get her attraction? How can I get her attention? Whatever, whatever. Bro, you gotta understand that this thirsty, desperate mindset is an extreme turnoff to women, first of all. Second of all, when you start thinking of, when you start thinking like this, that is when simp tendency starts to take over. Because really think about uh, 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 the mindset behind a simp. He's doing whatever he can to get with this one girl because she's just so bad. I even got homies like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? They'll watch my videos and they'll be like, you know, I'll be watching your videos. But, bro, like I had to scent because, like, she's just so attractive. Oh, her yitties is so big. Oh, my God. Her, her, her ass jiggle when she walk, bro. I had to scent. That's you, niggas, bro. And the truth is, <laughs> simping is simping, bro. That's exactly what it is. You making excuses. You know what I'm saying? And every time it doesn't work, bro. Simping might work 1% of the time, bro. But the truth is, even if it did work, it's not going to last. It's not going to go anywhere. You'll never link up with her. She's just going to use you for your attention and your resources and your valuables, bro. That's just the facts. That's just the truth. So in order to stop being a simp, you have to stop letting women run your world, bro. You need to start focusing on other things like yourself, your happiness, your fulfillment, right? And if you are going, because see, let's just be real, bro. As a man, you know what I mean? If you a straight man, you going to want attention from women. I understand that. But shift the mindset away from, oh, I got to get with this girl. I got to get with that girl. You stop trying to get as many women as possible. Stop trying to get these low value thoughts. Stop. Stop just going based off of what you see looks wise and try and get a high value woman at very least. You know what I'm saying? Get a high value woman that's not going to give you these problems. OK, that's not going to, to that, that that's not out here for the streets and all of that, bro. But the problem with you simps is that you are so focused on instant gratification and what can you get out of this chick in the next 30 seconds? Oh, I just want to smash whatever that you don't even take the time out to get to know these women personally. And because you don't get to know these women personally, you end up getting played, even though the red flags were there, but you were so blinded by the yiddies that you didn't even follow the, you didn't even take the red flags into consideration, man. And the other thing is this too, like, like F boys and players that be getting a lot of women, bruh, they're deep down still simps too. Okay, because the goal is to become a high value man, not to become just like some kind of player dude. Because the thing about players and toxic dudes is this. Once the whale dries up, because the thing is, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, their sexual market value might be a little bit higher, but these players and whatever that you perceive as, oh, they get a lot of girls, they get a lot of girls, they always have a rotation. As soon as that rotation dries up, then who are they? 
then what are they going to do? Now they're sad because they're no longer getting that constant stream of women. It's just like, you know, you got players in high school and then when they go to college, they're still players and then they hit the real world and it's like, whoa. Like, you know what I'm saying? That whole social aspect is not there anymore because you're in the real world. You got to go work. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like, oh my God, like, 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 oh my goodness. Now they go into the depressive state and shit like that, bro. You know what I mean? You don't want to be like that. You don't want to depend on women. You don't want to depend on women. Okay. And that leads into my next point. You want to be able to attract women, okay? Not necessarily go and just be able to get them and stuff like that. See, it's always better to attract things than to chase, okay? Especially as a man. If you're constantly, steadily chasing women, then you're always going to be in a bad position. You're always going to be in the in the more submissive position, right? Because the one that you're chasing is always going to have more power, whether you're in a relationship or whether you just trying to get, these, get with these women just for fun or whatever. She's always going to have more power because you're chasing her. The moment you stop chasing and you start attracting these women right through things like upping your sexual market value by working out and improving your diet and your mindset that is when things will start to become easier because you're now focused on yourself more than you're focused on her you are focused on your goals and your aspirations and your ambitions much more than you're focused on her which is going to attract her to you 10 times more than if you were to reach out constantly and keep trying to simp. why do you think that the women that you keep trying to link up with that you keep sending a message oh let's like a, the, 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 why do you think they keep rejecting you bruh it's because you're doing too much chasing the truth is you can't listen to these women when they give you dating advice because they'll tell you oh keep chasing me chase chasing me whole time they just want your attention bro come on now we know this this is basic this is this is basic bruh she just wants you to keep texting her and validating her and giving her mindless compliments because it's just gonna boost her ego so and, and guess what when you boost her ego you're literally just preparing her to get with another guy you're preparing her when you boost her ego uh, uh, to get with a guy that's more high value because as her ego goes up now she believes that she can get a guy that's here then here then here then here and it's gonna keep going up and up and up because of you the whole time you're getting absolutely no play you're a stepping stone you're just a stare bruh do you really want to be the stair? no you want to be the goal you want to be the man at the end of the stairs you feel what i'm saying now the final thing that i want to talk about is stop uh, stop being so nice right you have to stop being so nice and what i mean by stop being nice is stop being the pushover, bruh. Stop letting people push you over. Stop just like, oh, it's okay. Like, if somebody disrespects you, bruh, stand up for yourself, bruh. Like, we live in a culture now where everyone is a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like a woman disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? By, 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 by trying to tell you, oh, we gonna link, we gonna link, we gonna link, but the whole time she not. Or, you know what I'm saying? She say we gonna link, she bring her friends on a date. Bro, that's extremely disrespectful, man. Stand up for yourself, man. Don't pay for that, man. Leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let people just push you over. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a man, you got to learn how to stand up for yourself. This is literally going to do wonders for your confidence and is literally going to boost, like, how you feel as a man. Like, your whole masculinity, bro. You have to stop being so nice all the time, especially to these chicks. Stop giving them the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? All of that, bro. I'm telling you. You do these three steps, I promise you, you'll be well on your way to becoming a pimp from being a simp, bro. It's probably a whole bunch of other steps, but these are the first things that you need to start doing, man. Love you, and I'm out of here, dog. Peace.